Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make a Minecraft server as well as letting other people from other networks join your Minecraft server without using port forwarding. So let's get started. The first thing you'll do is have an easy way to get all your Minecraft server files and I'm just gonna create a folder on a desktop, now this thing can be anywhere, it can also just simply be your downloads folder. But you just want a simple folder where you can have all your files in. So I'm just going to call this Minecraft server. And here we now have a folder where we will be able to have all the Minecraft server files in. Okay. Once you have this, you simply want to go to your web browser. And I will have links in the description. But you simply want to go to your search bar and get yourself a Minecraft server software. Now I'm just going to use the default vanilla one. But there's also other softwares you can use. So for example, I'll just do Minecraft server and it will just show it with Minecraft server download here. And for example, this is the official Minecraft website and here we can download the Minecraft server jar. So once you have a Minecraft server jar, it can be normal vanilla, it can be paper, it can be fabric forge. You simply want a jar file which works as a server. So. If you cannot run jar files, you might have to also get yourself JDK23, which is just Java 23 basically, where you have this website here, which I will have in the description as well, where you can just simply go on this website. Now I have Java, so I don't need to do this, but this is only if you can't run the jar files. Here we have JDK23 selected, select Windows, and download the middle option, so X64 installer. So yeah, you only need to do this if you cannot run Java. If you can, you can simply minimize your web browser and you can go to the Minecraft server here that we have and we can go to downloads. We can select, copy and go back to the previous folder using the top left arrow and paste. Now what did we do? We just added the server.jar file to a different folder. Now once you have this, you simply want to double click the server.jar and this will just start executing the server and it is uh, gonna stop. It's gonna stop at EULA. Here it is. Now it is no longer doing anything. What you want to do now is simply double click EULA.txt. You want to change EULA equals false to true. You want to close and save. So what we just did here, we just saved EULA equals true using notepad. And now if we run this again, it is just gonna continue with the server. So while this does its thing, we will just be opening up Minecraft 1.1.4 as we're using this version for the server and we'll be able to play on our own Minecraft server. But the idea is to get other people to play on it. So here we have Minecraft 1.1.4 and we're going to start playing. And here we have our console. So the server is currently on. You can see done in an amount of seconds. So this is how we know the server is online. And we can also test our server by going to multiplayer, add server, Server address, it has to be 0.0.0.0, .0 or your device's IP if you're using another computer. But in most cases, it would just be this, as you have the server on the same computer as you're running Minecraft on. But once you did this, simply do done, we can see our server and we can play on it. Now, if we can't play on a server, it means that other people can't play on the server as well. And that means that even if we did do the non powerful link thingy, basically, it will have not worked. So here we know that the server is currently working. So we can join and other people can join. So that's it. So now that we have the Minecraft server, I'm just gonna re remove this from the list and we can now continue. Here we have our server and we will just be doing slash stop like so. And now we can continue with the tutorial. So once we have the server up and running, we need to go to a web browser. We need to open up a new tab and we need to go to our link box. Now this is different because this website shows up on Google but doesn't really show up on Google. So I will have a link on the description but simply it is simply playit.gg, right? So playit.gg. Once you do this, it's gonna show up with this website and all you wanna do is click download. Now it says get started with play.gg. You want to scroll down and if you're using Windows, just do Windows Installer. And now we have player.gg. So we can now minimize the web browser again. We can go to our downloads folder. So 
So this is where we had the original soda.jar. And once you found the installer for that, simply double click it. And we're gonna have a wizard. So all you need to do here is simply next, next, install. And here we are currently installing Plet here. So let's just wait for that. You can do yes and finish. So now we now have player.gg on our computer. To run this, all we need to do is simply go on search and type in play and you should see player.gg here. It's an app. So simply run it and you might have some text prompts that shows up. And here we have the first thing. So here it is to connect our app to an account. So all we need to do here is simply select this. Well, so you want to select the link. Okay. And once you copied it, you simply want to go to your web browser, open up a new thing, go to a text and simply paste it in. And there you go. So what do we do here? Here we just have a window here in terminal. We selected Control C. You need to use Control C for this. Control C is for copy. And we went to a tab here. We clicked Control V. And now we have this link. Here it asks us to make an account, which is down here. Once you found create an account, simply go here and it will ask you to use an email or create an account. So we can either do this, but we can also simply do use guest account, which I will be doing here. Okay, so once we have this here, what's gonna happen if we go to here, here it is, it connected, and here it says, okay, connect to our servers, okay, and now is it next? So here we can create a tunnel. So here we have this, and here it asks us to create a tunnel. All good. And this is our guest login. So what we can do, we can simply go and create tunnel, and now we have this page. Now this page is important. What we need to do here is simply Select free as there is a paid option of this thing, but if you just do free, it's good as well. And you have a tunnel type here. You want to do Minecraft Java and enable tunnel. And you want this. So you want this exact layout here. And you just want to do add tunnel. So now it says tunnel is pending. And what's going to happen here? All we need to do is turn on Minecraft Java. So the way we do this is simply by going back to our folder. So we can go to desktop, Minecraft server, and you want this thing. Basically, what we just did here, we have linked our account, which is this terminal here, to this server. So now our computer is connected to play.gg servers, and we just need to turn on our server by double clicking it in. And what's gonna happen here? is that we can now join our server using the link. Now, let me show you this. What's going on here is that we have a server, which is done, meaning it is online. If we go to our Minecraft multiplayer, we can test that out. There you go, it's online. So we can join this. Now, this information is being sent to player.gg and players will need this link here, North gave the gl join mcl link this is the link that they want so if we take this link here we copy it we go to minecraft add server we paste it in we have our minecraft server and we can test this out in another way which is going to a new tab and going on minecraft server info we will have this link here i will have this in the description and all we want to do is paste it in. There you go. And get server status. And now this is not my Wi-Fi. This is their own servers. It means that they are able to connect to this server here because they have the information of this server here. So what's going on here? Let me recap. We have an app on a computer called player.gg. It has this terminal window which is sending information from this computer to this server here. And here it is nice and simple. We have a connection of 15 milliseconds to the server and people, your friends and other people, uses this link to connect to this server to connect to our computer. So it is this simple. And if you don't like the domain, what you can do, you can either buy from this website or we can do 
if you have a new domain, now this is only usable like if you have another domain of course, but if you have another domain, what you can do is simply point, so redirect your domain to this domain, and you will be able to give your own customer, like a customer able domain to this, kind of skipping the step here. But if you don't have your own domain, you just simply want to give them this or give them this thing here as well. This also works. Here it is, I'll just wait for that. There you go. And there you go. So what happened here is that we now have the possibility to use this link here or we also have the possibility to use this IP. So if you want something a bit nicer looking, you can use this or you can just use the uh, this one here as well. Let's both this work. So there you go. Here we did not do any port forwarding, but we just simply use this website and this application to host our Minecraft server. So if I join this, there you go. We are currently playing on a Minecraft server. I can do hi and we can see hi here in our console. So yeah, that's how we make our server public without using port forwarding. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.